Today I'm going to show you how to take an ordinary tree ornament off of your regular tree and make it into a hand painted unique bulb. Today we're going to do the black and white striped one. It's inspired by Mackenzie Childs but hand painted by me. Feel free to head over to my channel and check it out for more fun projects. So as I mentioned, today we're going to do the black and white striped bulb. And when you're finished, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, let's get started. First, select the type of bulb that you want to use, and we're going to spray paint it with a primer. I personally like to remove the color off of the bulb first, and I have another video that shows you this, and I'll have a link to it at the end. So once you've spray painted your bulb with white primer, I'm going to show you how to make the 16 lines to get your pattern. Using a pencil, I like to trace the natural manufactured line where they put the bulb together to begin with to start out as my first two lines. For the rest of the lines, I'm using tape as a guide to keep my line straight and we're going to make an X by crossing over our first line like this. Now once you have the X, we are going to draw two lines between each quarter section using the tape as a guide. So initially we're starting out with a pencil outline and then we're going to come back with a black paint marker and then we'll end it finally with the paint. Make sure to keep an eye on your lines and that they go all the way from the tip of the bottom to the top. This can get away from you easily. So when you're finished with all 16 lines, it looks like this. Next, I'm going to use my black paint marker to trace over my pencil lines. If you're good with a paintbrush and can make straight lines right off the bat, then you can skip this step. I like to start out by making a black mark on all of the lines that are going to be black just to make sure that I've separated them perfectly so I don't have black on black or white on white. And this time we did it perfectly. Now I'm going to color in the black lines.
Once we've used the paint marker to fill in all the lines, I'm going to go over the paint marker with black paint and it'll give it a nice clean matte finish. And I'll also go over the white areas with a white paint with a little bit of yellow and a mild tint of blue mixed in. I'll continue making several coats until I feel like it has a good, smooth, clean line to it. And then, when I'm finished, I will spray paint it with a matte clear enamel. And here you go! You have a hand-painted custom Christmas bulb for your tree. I hope you love it!